So let's see how we can install SQLite on our Windows 11 operating system. So first of all, open your favorite browser and search for SQLite. And the first link which will appear here will be from SQLite.org. So we are going to click on this link. In here, you will be able to see this downloads tab here on the top. You can also see the downloads button under the latest releases. So you can click any of uh, these links. I'm going to click on downloads tab here. And once you click on the downloads tab, you will see different uh, uh, versions of downloads, right? So you can download the source code. You can download the documentation pre-release snapshot. We are interested in the pre-compiled binaries for Windows. So just scroll down where it says pre-compiled binary for Windows. And we will download the SQLite tool for our Windows 11 operating system, right? So just select the third option here, which says SQLite tool Win32. And you can see what it says, a bundle of command line tools for managing SQLite database files. So I'm going to click on this link, which is going to download this zip file. So once this zip file is downloaded, just go to the location where uh, this zip file is downloaded. And first of all, we need to extract this zip file. So right click on it and you can choose any tool uh, which you have for extracting this zip file. I'm going to click on extract and then I'm going to click on uh, extract once again, which is going to extract this zip file in the downloads folder itself. So once this zip file is downloaded, you will be able to see only three files here. So what I like to do here is I just cut this folder from here. So let me cut this folder and then I go to the C folder and then I'm going to paste this folder here. And then I'm going to rename this folder. So let me rename this folder to SQLite 3, right? So this way I can remember where I have uh, my SQLite binaries and I can also set the environment variables for the SQLite, which will help me to run my SQLite commands from my command prompt, right? So once you have copied this SQLite 3 into your C directory, just go where all of your executable files related to SQLite uh, are there and then copy this path from here. We need to set the environment variables for SQLite in order to use. It. So just copy this path from the top and then just uh, click on the search icon here and then search for environment variables. And when you type few letters of environment, in the search result, you will be able to see this uh, result, which says added the system environment variables. Click on this option, which is going to open this kind of window. Click on environment variables here, and then click on path environment variables under system variable. So just select this and then click on edit. And here you just need to create a new environment variable and then paste your path. So my path is C colon backslash SQLite 3 in my case. So make sure you copy the path where all your files related to SQLite are there, right? So this is the path. Just paste the path here. Once you are done, click on OK and then click on OK. And once again, click on OK. So once you are done setting the environment variables for SQLite, you can start using SQLite using command prompt. So just search for CMD and then open the command prompt. And in here, you can just type SQLite, SQLite 3, and then press enter. And if you see this kind of uh, uh, output, which uh, will show the version of SQLite, which you have downloaded, in my case, SQLite version 3.372. And here you can see uh, that SQLite shell has been started. So from here, you can create the database you can uh, manage your database using the command prompt from this shell, right? Now, let me show you some basic SQLite command. So how you can get help uh, about SQLite. When you type dot help here and then press enter, you will be able to see all the commands which are available in 
your SQLite database and then uh, you can use one of these command to uh, manage and use SQLite, right? So one such command is dot quit. You can use this command dot quit to quit from your SQLite shell. So now I'm out of my SQLite shell, right? Now how we can create a SQLite database. So let me just close this command prompt. Let's say I want to create this database on a directory which is on my desktop. So let me create a new directory here. So, let, so let's say this directory name is db and I want to create my database here. So let me just open this db uh, database here. And once again, I'm going to open the command prompt by just typing cmd. And let me just uh, move this uh, command prompt a little bit uh, on the right hand side so you can see the database which is created inside this folder. So first of all, copy the path where you want to create this database and then just type cd and then paste this path, press enter. So now you are inside this uh, database directory where you want to create this database, right? So here you can just type SQLite3 and the name of your database. In my case, let's say I want to just create my DB, which is the name of my database and then the extension. You can give DB extension or SQLite extension, whatever you like, and then press enter. Once you do that, your database is created. So you are switched into this database, but still you will not see any database file which is uh, visible on, in your database folder. In order to view your database, you can give uh, this command dot databases and then press enter. And it's going to show me all the databases which uh, I'm using. So once you give this command, it's going to show you the list of all the databases. Right now we have only one database and now you can see this database file which is created here. Now how you can create a table inside your database. So as you have created this mydb.db database and you are uh, working inside this database when you give this command, you can create the table using this command. You can just write create and then the table and then write table here and then the name of your table. Let's say my uh, table name will be books and then inside these parentheses, I can give my column names. So let's say I wa just want to give one column name which will be uh, ID and the data type will be int here. And let's say it will be uh, the primary key. So I can just uh, write primary key here. And then once you are done, you just need to give the semicolon here. So this command is going to create a table with the name books and it will have only one column, which will be called ID, right? I'm going to press enter here. So this table is created. So once your table is created, how you can view the table? So you can give this command dot tables and then press enter and you will be able to see all the tables inside your database we only have one table which is called books so i can see only one table here now if i want to see the schema of the table i can just write dot schema here and then the name of the table which is books in my case and then press enter it's going to show me the schema of that table so you can see this table contain only one column and this table name is books, right? So this is how you can install and use SQLite database on your Windows 11 operating system. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next video.